Hey guys, I've got an exposed module today that may help you save some battery life. It's called NLP Unbounce and basically if you suffer from the Google Play services i.e. network location wake locks, this is going to help you restrict and delay them. On stock settings, it's actually set to wake your device every 60 seconds and hold a wake lock of up to 15 seconds while it gets your location and sends it back to Google and that definitely has an effect on your battery life. Now this module allows you to change that 60 second time so it doesn't wake the device so frequently, therefore your device should be able to stay in deep sleep longer and save you some battery life. So once you've installed the module, you have to access it via the exposed installer. It doesn't place an icon in your app drawer because, well, basically you just don't need one. Now if we open it up here, this is what it'll look like. You don't actually need to touch anything. Once the module's installed, it applies the settings for you. Both the alarm and wake lock sections are ticked, so both of those are being reduced. Now if you're wondering what the difference between an alarm and a wake lock is, well, an alarm wakes the device from deep sleep. A wake lock, in this case the NLP wake lock, is the process that holds the device awake while it gets the location and sends it. So it should actually be possible to only delay the alarms, therefore the device doesn't wake up in the first place. However, other apps can actually activate the NLP wake lock, hence why the dev has given us the option to restrict the wake locks as well, not just the alarms. The bottom line is have all four boxes ticked. The allowed frequency for each of these is by default changed to 240, which is four minutes instead of the stock default one minute. So instead of the alarm triggering every 60 seconds, it's now gonna be triggering every four minutes, which is going to equal a lot less wake locks overall. And this shouldn't cause any problems in the system either. You're not actually turning off the wake lock, you're just delaying it. It also gives gives you a block counter so you can see just how many times the alarm or wake lock has been blocked. You can go above 240 if you choose but the dev and the XDA thread seem to settle on 240 being a good number. It's also worth saying that if you don't have location services on in the first place this probably won't help you. So checking out some results, this picture is from the wake lock detector application before I installed the module. You can see the stats have only been recording for 6 minutes and I already have 5 hits on the NLP collector wake lock in that time. Now just to be sure that wasn't a one off I reset the stats and waited 8 minutes this time and we had 19 hits on the NLP wait clock. If you're wondering why we've got a lot more hits this time even though we were only running for an extra 2 minutes it's probably because an application triggered it. Now these next two images are after installing the module and again the uptime was 5 minutes but this time both wait clocks have only one hit so it's already improved. Going to 11 minutes both the NLP collector and NLP wait clock only have 2 hits each whereas before we had 19 hits at 8 minutes or something like that. So they're definitely improved here and it should help you save some battery life without compromising on the location services. So far while using this I haven't seen any negative side effects to speak of but as always keep an eye out for them. It is a new module so it is being updated all the time. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Peace out.